Charles Darwin. Charles, Charles, where are you, Charles? Forgetting his sister's call, a boy was carefully looking at insects on the grass where he was seated. I can't understand you looking at insects like this again rather than study. After being rebuked by his sister, the boy returned home. Darwin, author of The Origin of Species, liked collecting insects from his childhood. But he was doing very poorly at school. Although his sister and brothers disapproved of him, his father had a very high opinion of his talents. When Darwin was 18 years old, he entered a school run by Dr. Butler after his father recommended it. But he failed to adjust to life in a school dormitory and boring studies. I wonder why I hate studying. Darwin liked observing animals and plants in fields better than studying. Around that time, he enjoyed following adults to go hunting. He shot at birds at random in fields. One day, his father called Darwin and rebuked him severely. A bird is also a life. But why do you kill such lives for fun? After hearing his father's remark, he never went hunting again. Darwin spent a lot of time staying at his father's hospital, where he got interested in medical profession. What do you think, Darwin? Don't you want to be a doctor? Darwin entered the medical school of the Edinburgh University on the recommendation of his father. But he felt bored with life in Edinburgh, although Professor Jameson's lectures on natural history aroused his curiosity. Neglecting medical classes, Darwin often visited a museum and got interested in the stuffed specimens of various animals and data. After meeting Robert Grant, an instructor at the Edinburgh University, he went around the Firth of Forth, collecting sea creatures. Darwin. Although Lamarck's theory of evolution argues that all creatures evolve little by little, he is being criticized because it is an idea based on unbelief in God. After hearing Grant's remark, Darwin thought there are sufficient data for supporting the theory. When Darwin's father saw his son being absorbed in collecting creatures, he decided Darwin would not be a doctor and recommended that he should be a church minister. If you become a church minister, you'll be able to collect creatures sometimes in your free time. So Darwin decided to be a church minister. Darwin entered the School of Theology, the University of Cambridge, but he was only interested in Professor Handler's lectures on botany instead of theology classes. Darwin, you don't want to be a church minister, do you? Find out what you really want. Professor Handler's remark helped him to feel certain of what he really wanted. One day, a letter came to Darwin who twice failed to meet his father's expectations about him. It said Professor Handler recommended Darwin as naturalist to the HMS Beagle, scheduled to depart for the West Indies. His father, who objected to it at first, allowed him to go there after all because of his enthusiasm. Having boarded the big HMS Beagle, Darwin started a long journey along with Professor Handler's encouragement. Looking at the broad sea, he said to himself, I'll observe a lot of things without fail to prove this journey useful. Darwin observed a lot of animals and plants during his long journey. 
I see all creatures evolve little by little, depending on the environment. He sent Professor Handler a letter saying what he saw and how he felt about them. Professor Handler, who received Darwin's letter, gathered his opinions and submitted them to the relevant academy, which was unusually interested in them. As a result, his name became gradually known to the world. After finishing a long five-year journey, Darwin returned to his homeland. He wrote The Voyage of the Beagle on the recommendation of Professor Handler. He married his cousin Emma at the age of 30. Later on, Darwin began to write the theory of evolution of species little by little. But he didn't make haste. I need a lot of courage and sufficient data in order to prove this theory. He collected data for supporting his theory. Darwin mustered up courage to publish the book The Origin of Species using the data he had collected. His book sold like hotcakes and created a stir among people. There was a big commotion in scientific and academic conferences. The origin of species is a false theory. It doesn't believe in God. Humans' ancestors are monkey? Far from it. But people gradually began to recognize Darwin's argument based on a lot of data and well-grounded information. Many people who believed that God had created humans for a long time came to understand the evolution of humans through Darwin's origin of species.